So in this video, we're going to go through the process of rigging kind of these flaps and also how we went about creating these flares. So we've come into this blend file. I've removed all the controllers. There are a few steps that you need to do to set them up. I have left the flaps. So if we look at the flap here, we can see that the origin point over here is at the back. However, the empty is most important because we need it to rotate the way we want it. So if I go rotate XX, and so now it's rotating along the X axis. So that's fairly important because if I went Alt R and left it as is and went R X to rotate, you'll see how it's actually rotating. And at the back here, we no longer have that controller. So first thing we got to do is we have to set up this controller here. Now it needs to be zeroed out. So the way I did this, Shift S cursor to world origin. So let's go ahead and add in a cube. And we want to kind of place it where we want it to go. So I'm just going to scale that control a apply the scale. So I want the bone to be sitting about here. Sorry, the empty to be sitting about here. We need to now invert that. I will bring it back to the ground to about there. Let's now grab that Y and we'll turn that into a positive. So this would make sense in a sec. Now, when we come in and add in our empty, uh, for this one, I'm going to add in a cone. Let's just put it to scale. So something like that control a scale. With the empty selected, shift left click on the cube, control P to parent to object. Now I can select this cube, bring it here, and it's sitting in the right spot. Now, obviously, if I want to get rid of this cube, I'll just go tab into edit mode, select all the vertices, delete vertices, there we go. And so now this is sitting in the right spot with the location is zero, rotation is zero, scale is one. And so now we can do whatever we want. Whoops, select just that. Now we can select that, rotate Z, there we go. So that is fine. Now let's go ahead and we'll create this front flap. So from here, I'm gonna press rotate Z. This is what I want to control the flap. So what I can do is come up here, right click on the Z rotation, copy as new driver. Then I can select our empty and I know that I wanna rotate XX. So that's what we're gonna be controlling. We can see that this isn't zeroed out, but that's fine. We'll fix that up in a sec. Right click, paste driver. And we can see now that it's tilted up a little bit, um, but we'll fix that in a sec. So now if I come into the empty rotate, we can see that we are now controlling that bone. For this side, we've got to do a little bit of a funky thing. Let's click on our empty. We've already got it pasted. Right click, paste driver rotate Z and you can see they're both going up. Now we want this one to be inverted. Right click on that purple thing. I don't even know what to call that. Let's now go open driver editor. From here, what I'm gonna do is just select that and let's go scale X minus one. And then I'm just gonna adjust it into place. Just pressing G Y to move down to where it needs to be, which is about there. Let's select this one and we will do the same. I just kind of want to line that up. Beautiful. And now from here, rotate Z. You can see they are both inverted. Excellent. Now, obviously we can do the same for here. Uh, the way I've got that set up, is that how I want it? Yep, so that's going to be our rotation po point. Right click, paste driver. Select that one, right click paste driver and obviously once again rotate Z they're both going up so let's go ahead and fix that uh, just click that one right click open driver editor and we'll select that scale X minus one there we go and then we'll bring that back down to about there lovely let's find our little control bone rotate Z nice now let's work on these flaps. So once again, let's add in a cube. Let's scale that down. Control A, apply scale. I want it to be sitting about here. Let's now convert that to the minus. Um, and I also want it to be sitting up higher. So we will go minus five. So we will go minus. Excellent. And now let's just bring that back down because obviously we know what we want. Shift A, this time I'm just gonna add in an empty and let's go, let's now add uh, a cube just to do something different. Control A, apply the scale. 
shift left click on our cube, control P to parent to object. And then from here I can go G and put that in place. So for this one, it's very important to obviously have uh, everything is zeroed out because we're not going to be doing any funny maths. It's just going to be based off the location is how much we rotate. So let's now select this top one and we can only, we can only work off one. I mean, we can do it for all of them, but I am just going to do it for this one. Let's select our cube G Y. So the Y is what we want. Let's go right click copy as driver, select this. And we want to rotate XX, I believe. Yep, on the X value. Right click, paste driver. So now if we go G, Y, we can see that that is going there. And I've got one that's duplicated. Let's just go delete on that. G, Y. And we can see that's how that's working. Now, technically, I could go around and do that to all of them. However, what I'm just going to do is come in, select all this. Number 14, we get rid of, delete. And then with this single one selected, we need to find the center. So luckily enough, that's already in the center because to selected, um, depending on how you set this up, shift D, let's come up on the 3D cursor, rotate 180, shift D, rotate 90. And then I've got it, shift D, rotate 18. And I will just do this really quick. There we go. So now all these pieces have that driver enabled. G to the Y. Beautiful. However, we can still do some funky stuff because I don't want this to go all the way in, all the way out. So let's throw on some constraints. From here, add constraint, limit location. Now, I don't want it moving along the X axis. I don't want it moving along the Z axis. Let's change owner to local space. And now let's work this out. So we're looking at the Y values, G, Y. So that's probably the smallest I want to go. So we'll select this number here. Minimum will be that. And we'll go G, Y. Probably maximum will do that. Control C, Control V. Now this is a little important little feature. If I go move it, the cube stays, but I can still transform it. What I need to do is effect transform. So now I can go GY and it is locking. Now the other cool thing is, is if you're lazy, you don't want to animate it. What we can do is go I set location. Let's come up into animation. Uh, we've already got the graph open, lovely click on this thing and we go to the graph editor. Let's expand that. We want to click on the Y location, come into modifiers, add noise. Let's just press play. You can see that it is going off tap. Let's just extend it a little bit. Strength is a little bit too much. Let's go 0.25. And I mean, we could bring it in. And now we've kind of animated our uh, engines very quickly. We can obviously do the same for this. Now I haven't, now I haven't uh, put any locks on this at the moment, but if I go I set rotation, we want the Z rotation. Let's go envelope, sorry. Let's go noise. Uh, it's a little bit too extreme. So let's kind of expand it a bit. There we go. What's a nice number? 25 is not too bad. Let's go 0.2. And it's kind of just these subtle adjustments as if it's flying. And so there you go. This model will actually be available to download later on on Patreon. So jump over there and check it out.